Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. I'm All Dragon. I'm Zerfo. And we have just pulled all of our forces out of the Tarasi Imperium so that we can, well, so that I can gobble them up. I'm surprised that they're better. not just uh, like, oh, thanks for saving us. Like, they're negative 300 with me. They should be like, I, you just saved us from being destroyed. I, I think that we need to actually eliminate every single Prothoran uh, world for any kind of bonus to happen. It, it is it, it definitely needs to, to change. Like, if you are in their space fighting um, the Prothorans, that should register as, you know, bonus points in your favor. Mm-hmm. Really especially should. especially if their entire space was converted to half Pathoran space, and then yeah. you've gone in and fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, seed planet. Ooh, that is going to be. A, this is going to be expensive. I actually cannot get it all. Um, really? I thought they only had like two planets left. They have four. Oh, they're just all in two systems. Uh, well, no, they've got Chalks to the south and uh, Banago oh, to yeah, the north. Oh, yeah, they got little uh, little satellites going on. Uh, I think I'm going to not take Banago because I can't even get up there. I'll yeah. Although if you did take it, I don't know. I was going to say if you took it, you could build stuff, but it's just a dead end. Yeah. Well. And, I mean... I'd eventually get it with the uh, uh, integration, but it's not really worth it. No. I mean, I could take it and, and like, not chalks and then um, work on, uh, you know, wait 10 years and then go to war again. Mm. Might not be such a bad idea, actually. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like just leaving that one there, it's something to just scoop up later. Yeah. Maybe it'll be less threatening, too, if you don't uh, take everything will be like, well, they didn't. Well, they didn't take them all the way over. They left them that little dead end star in the middle of nowhere. That's true, but yeah, it's thirty nine to take their capital, which is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, okay, let's see. Let's see, board. Yeah. All right. Um, unfortunately, I cannot get a humiliate. That's fine. So, because this is for these three uh, systems. It's 95 right there. Well, we should be able to get it relatively quickly just by... Right. They're, I mean, they, they've, got, they've got absolutely nothing anyway. Yeah. Uh, they might have some things down in chalks since that's been untouched, but that's about it. All right. I don't know. You have sensors in there. You should be able to see. Yeah, well, yeah, they have a, they have a space station. Oh, they also have a continental world that's not colonized. Forgot about that. Okay. Uh, let's see, where are my fleets? Oh, they're both in the same place. <laughs> All right. Let me go there. And let's go there. Okay, I'm going to unpause it. Situation log updated. Yeah, I've got starvation here, but that's expected. That's fine. There's an Arctic world there. Kind of surprised that they uh, never ended up doing anything with that. Okay, where is your... Oh, are you going to bombard that world? Yeah. All right, and I'll go down to I'll go down to chalks. If I don't accidentally start shooting their little mining station, because it's so important. <laughs> ah, tachyon lances. Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. Shooting them up. Pew pew pew. At least, at least we're shooting from such a distance that uh, it's not as annoying anymore. Well, the Hisma have decided to the Hisma hegemony have decided to bring in a seven uh, K fleet. Oh, and I just got a new border range again. Oh man, you probably uh oh border range plus ten percent. <laughs> you got to counteract it. So well, you you have taken Ferrum from me. Well, that's Ferrum enough. Mm. 
<laughs> There's this thing called coffee news around here that's got the worst jokes in it, but I had one that was kind of okay today. It was somebody uh, somebody's Call thought of? Um, they stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went when it set. But you know what? Eventually, it dawned on them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so so bad it hurts. Oh, that's painful. System survey complete. It's painful, that's what it is. Construction <laughs> complete. Okay, nineteen percent already. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot that we're going to be able to do about uh, uh, that one system up there. So, so we can't even get to it. Or, no, we can't. Or can we? No, we, well, we, unless you've got a new... Uh, Warp fleet. Construction complete. Or you get you've gotten uh, jump drives. Have you gotten any psionic stuff? Uh, I have not. I don't think. I've gotten like armies, like psi armies I can build and stuff. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I had a uh, uh, construction ship that's just about to jump in through a uh, uh, in on a uh, um, Thorin Scourge uh, base. Mm. Don't want that to happen. <laughs> no. Let's see if I can go around the back way. I'll just have them sit somewhere else. Well, I've got a relatively large army I can send up there if we need to start to uh taken planets to get this number up high enough yeah i mean not uh, we, we may have to do occupations um i've got a oh no somebody died scientist oh apparently i made a mistake and didn't realize oh well well there goes that science ship oh oh dear oh was it up in uh in that little leg yeah i think it was uh poking around there a little bit too deep. And it's, yeah, probably. Uh, That's gonna happen. Colony established. I might have to go. I'm gonna to have to go take out these Prothoran Scourge stations as well once this is all done. Man, I hate those Prothoran Scourge stations. Oh no, I'm getting planetary separatist factions all over the place now for some reason. But just because we're at war. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Where's my little army here? All right, I'm going to send in an army on uh, Taraska. Assuming that they don't have... A... Oh, they have a pretty big army. Uh, they're all defense armies. Should be okay. Okay, I have apparently received a gift on Steam. Thanks, Steam. Oh, man, I just got so many things. You, you, do you need to pause it? No, well, no, I don't think so. Things are kind of happening automatically, but... The Hissima have been fully uh, surrounded by Zerf. So I've got just a whole <laughs> ton of places to nice. go build. Nice. Let's, uh, you'll come up from this way. All the more reason we uh, need to go to war with them and integrate them at some point. Well, this one is clearly in my space, but for some reason I can't build... Oh, I already have the research station there. Perfect, okay. Oh, oh dear. Um, this guy's decided to uh, 
build a, uh, a wormhole in my capital system. Construction complete. Oh, that was not smart on your part. Nine days, and I'll get a new battleship, which should take out this uh, um, Tarasi Imperium wormhole station one day. Yes. <laughs> it pops out and immediately unleashes all of the lances. Uh, the Galactic Upathy Combine. Are they one of your vassals? Yes. Have you noticed what they're doing up north? Um, up n d Define north. Banago, the oh. Tarasi's little place. Oh, they've gotten in there. Oh, okay. Now, hopefully their weapons are better than that of their military base because they're flying right at it, but... Uh, that's that's a Prothoran Scourge military base, and mm. they are going to be... They're, gonna, they're probably going to get chewed up. They're probably going to get chewed up. They've got uh, mostly small weapons. They've got some medium weapons. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think they're probably going to get chewed up. Yeah, they're warp guys, so. Well, that's good. Um, I was going to look at something, but I completely forgot. That's not that important now. Oh, I remember what I was going to look at. Hisma Interplanetary Syndicate enter, entered a non-aggression pact with the Empire of Dragonia, huh? Where exactly are you guys? Ah, yes. All right, my army, my fleet of uh, Xenos, Xenomorph armies is about to uh, land. Well, not about to. It's a little bit away. It's moving in. Hostile fleet engaged. Then we should have some fun. I like how you get the, uh, you know, your base is under attack when it's a construction ship. Yep. Okay, there we go. Landing now. Hi, Tarasi. How's it going? I have no leader. I have no leader, and we are just gnawing right through them, just eating them up. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Ah, it's a beautiful thing. All dead. <laughs> I think that they're not going to have too bad of a time with this space station, yeah? Really? Well, it seems like they're doing okay. The thing's only shooting like a couple of missiles at a time, and it takes them forever to get there, so... That's fair. They might not be within range of the uh, the more powerful weapons yet. It could be. So they've already... Well, they haven't done too much damage. I don't know. Once they get a little bit closer, they're probably oh. gonna get just destroyed. Incoming transmission. Lost contact. We bring alarming news, Roach friends. Contact with our colony on New Baldurak has been lost. They no longer respond to any of our satellite transmissions, and we fear the worst. Perhaps the aliens who bomb bombarded our original homeworld have returned to finish the job. Please send a ship to investigate. Hmm. We shall dispatch a ship at once. Enough, we are not your errand, boys. Oh, we'll dispatch a uh, ship at once. Excellent. Hopefully it's just a faulty transmitter. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go with that. And I capped out on influence again. Uh, let's see. Investigate new Baldurak. Let's go to... Where exactly is this? Oh, this is all the way down in Ganogian space? I didn't even realize it was all the way down there. Ooh. That could be oh, a problem. Oh, because they've, they've expanded a little bit. Because I think... It, where was it? Do not have border access to this project. It is, it is like, deep in their space. It's in Nahal. N I H A L. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. I guess before they just liked you and you happened to end up there. Or something. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Well, it was a little bit weird in that I, it didn't seem like I actually had to do a whole lot to really help them out. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But it is very weird. Well, uh, we're not going to be able to do that until um, we decide to go to war against them. So. Yeah, and of course there's the giant glowing orb to the left of the galaxy that's shooting missiles at... <laughs> Some hey, I have, ships. I have one of those too. <laughs> that means it's real. If it's on both screens, it means it's real. Absolutely. Ah, still can't uh, enforce demands yet. All right. Um, can I actually embark? Yeah, I can't embark all my fleets. Is that? I hope that didn't mean. No, we're still occupied. It. I think. Yep, we're still occupied. All right, let me uh, send my other fleet elsewhere, or my fleet elsewhere. Let's just send these guys for repairs. We've got this planet covered. I am going to send my fleet to go take care of some uh, Thorn Scourge stuff. Hostile fleet engaged by... Oh, sh... Crap. Well, I completely forgot about that... Uh... <sighs> God, my uh, my transport fleet just uh, jumped in next to a Prothoran Scourge space station. Mm. Yeah, they're really um, complicating matters. Yes. And they just keep sending in more and more of these things. Although it's actually working out well, it was working out well for the uh, Tarasi Imperium at, up at the north, since they have that one station just near them. Yeah. They haven't taken over the planet. It's like, hey, it's just protecting us from uh, this weak fleet that came up here. Okay, it jumped out. Let's go repair. Uh, I lost two. So I need to build uh, some more. Let me pause this for a second. I need to see if I can do something here. Uh, this one. I'll just build a whole bunch. All right, now I need to, uh, let's see, you are not, I need to be able to, uh, um, move some pops around. That's really what I need to be able to do. All right, orbital hydroponics. We'll get that started. Oh, I know what might help if I have it. Um... Farming subsidies. Let's get some uh, additional food on this world. There we go. That should help, help a little bit. All right, I am paused. Oh, one of my uh, one of my roaches is moving to one of your worlds. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Rodoman, I believe. Oh, it's just not close enough. So I <laughs> I built a. Um, military base up and oh they did destroy it uh up in the north because i was like i want to find out what's going on up there and i'm just trying to build this military base just close enough that if they start building things they'll get attacked i couldn't get it quite close enough or i didn't estimate it properly but i was hoping they were going to end up uh helping out the other fleet by having just an aura that was going to help ah uh, oh you used your your warp 
Um, yeah, I got a little warp yeah. constructor, and he just warped in and was like, screw you guys. So you've got uh, one of my... Um, one yeah. of the guys that popped up on my uh, Tomb World. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is currently a xenophile, fanatic pacifist, and fanatic materialist on Rodoman in Unith. And he's growing another one already. Although he's not growing very fast because there's two other pops also growing on that world. Mm. I think that's a, uh, a place that is in one of my sectors. Oh, okay. But you can, I think you can still build a... Uh, uh, you can still use, uh, you know, build a colony ship based mm -hmm. on that, and that's where my oh, yeah, that's my roach true. guy is uh, going. So if you get one of those, if you if the roach guy does move over there, you can use him to then colonize, uh, start colonizing your um, uh, tropical worlds. Ah, very good. Because you've got quite a few of them. Uh, incidentally, the uh, the fungoid guy that moved there, he is intelligent, and he's talented, which is pointless. But he's also non adaptive. Man, this uh, Gedux system has a whole lot of stuff going on for it. I guess it's not that great. Which one? Oh, there's a system just inside of the Vun Oak. Vun Oak Oak a collective at the bottom. I was just glancing past it as I was scrolling around, and I saw lots of symbols, but it, they're mostly just at one. So I was like, oh, there's a lot. Like, ah, that's not great. Down at the bottom. I'm not even sure exactly where they are right now. Oh no, they're they're it's at the bottom of their system. They're up near the oh. wall. Oh yeah, Gedexus. Oh yeah, that is a well. I mean, uh, one terraforming and one uh, Pitharian dust is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's uh, there's some pretty good systems out there that are not colonized. Some ancient mining drones here too. I should probably take them out. They're right near the border of my space. Oh, there's another Pythoran Scourge force that's gone in there. Um, let's see. All right, you guys are, are taking care of Chalks, so let me head up there. All right, well, it is about time to end the episode anyway. And let me go... Take care. I mean, I'm going to queue up some uh, attacks on Prothoran Scourge things so that we can uh, get those eliminated. Still cause problems like they've been causing. And, yeah, there's a couple uh, more fleets that have come down. They really want... Why do they want to come expand down here? Go up and, and deal with the, uh, you know, Alethurium-associated planets and crap like that, you stupid... <laughs> yeah, so-and-sos. Yeah. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, actually, I wonder if they can... Um, I mean, there's a, an uncolonized world. They may not be able to colonize uncolonized worlds. I don't know. We lost some percentage for our war score. Yeah, 10 points, and I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm controlling their capital. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything that gave them You're still blockading Pondak Mog. Still blockading uh, V. Kaskan. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, there's no one. Uh, there's no one in the uh, roller system. Well, it doesn't need it. Hmm. We, we're occupied. We we got everyone got pulled off of it anyway. We can't actually uh, uh, blockade it. I'll I'll send in a uh, a battleship just to to check, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing to do. I mean, it it could be a case of uh, uh, our allied fleets up in, up to the north. I don't know. Yeah, weird. Well, they yep. should be taking over the world up there soon anyways. They're on their well, way over to it. I blockading, think. at least. Yeah, blockading it. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 
We'll figure it out eventually. See you next time, everyone. Bye.